The Bible does not provide a specific text explaining the origin of black people or any other specific racial group. The most discussed reference regarding the origin of various peoples is the story of Noah and his sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, described in Genesis 9, 1827. After the flood, Noah became drunk and was found naked by his son, Ham. Upon discovering what Ham had done, Noah pronounced a curse upon Ham's son, Canaan, declaring that the descendants of Canaan would be servants to the descendants of Noah's other two sons, Shem and Japheth. This episode is described in Genesis 9, 2027. Noah began to be a farmer, and he planted a vineyard. Then he drank of the wine, and was drunk, and became uncovered in his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his two brothers outside. But Shem and Japheth took a garment, laid it on both their shoulders, and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. Their faces were turned away, and they did not see their father's nakedness. So Noah woke from his wine, and knew what his younger son had done to him. Then he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants he shall be to his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God enlarged Japheth, and let him dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. Historically, some erroneous and racist interpretations have used this passage to justify slavery and discrimination against Africans. Such interpretations are not supported by biblical evidence and are widely rejected by modern academic and religious authorities. The Bible does not directly reference the racial characteristics of Ham or his descendants, and contemporary interpretations emphasize that all people, regardless of race, are equally created in the image of God and deserve dignity and respect. Ethnic and racial diversity is seen as part of divine creation and the fullness of humanity.